So as y'all can see, I'm over here in the world of Walmart. I'm gonna be giving myself $100. And with that $100, I need to pick up everything I need to survive for 24 hours at the beach. So we gotta go through these aisles, pick up everything that could possibly help me survive. I'm talking about like cooking stuff, we need fishing stuff to catch food. That's gonna be one of the rules here. I'm not gonna be buying any food here. I can only eat what I catch. So this should definitely be a little bit interesting. So yeah, man, $100, I need like a lot of gear. So let's not waste any time here. Let's get right to it, man. So I made like a small list. I've never really done anything like this before but I do have some friends out here going to be helping me. What's up, dude? I'm here to help. They're going to help me, you know, pick some stuff out. I'm going to be actually useful. Hey, look at me. I'm here to help. I have everything right here. I know we need Yeah, it. so I'm pretty sure they have like no clue what they're doing either. But hey, why do you say that? But yeah, dude, we got some friends here. I was like, yo, you guys want to come to Walmart and help me pick out some survival stuff. So that's, that's what we're going to be. What, what do you got there? I'm telling you, if you're looking to survive, I got you. Ow. All right, so $100, we're gonna be surviving overnight for 24 hours on the beach. The first thing I think we're gonna need to find is a tent. Find a tent, that's freaking $41. You see any tents, dude? Look at this one, this is an actual TV. Dude, there's a lot, wait, that's, that's $56. Yeah, that's a thing. That's I more don't. than half, yeah, I don't need a freaking TV. Look at that, they're having so much fun in there. That is like literally, a, like you could live in that, like actually. This is an eight person tent right here. Eight person, how much is this one? 12, you're telling me 12 people are gonna be surviving overnight, 24 hours at the beach, catch and cook. This is not part of our, is there any like cheap tents? One person. $27. See how happy she is in there? So this is 35. What do you think of that, dude? This is the one. That's it's actually, four? yeah, four person tent. I mean, like we probably should've got a cart. All right, oh, this is the first official purchase here. This is my first tent that I'm like ever buying either. I've always, I don't know why, I've always kind of wanted a tent. I don't really do too much camping, but. There she is, man. Good old Ozark Trail special. And if we catch any fish, we're gonna need to you know, cut them up, do a little bit of that. I think, like, what's the cheapest knife? I know they have, like, good cheap filet knives. That's $8. I swear there's, like, a $2 one. Two. Ninety-seven Walmart filet knife. Good old Ozark Trail. Fire is essential, so we're gonna get some of this storm-proof matches. I mean, we can, we can literally go swimming with these. Shelter and fire. What about a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich? I'm down. What do you think, like, a tiny one, or, like... I've never owned a cast iron pan. Dude, that is... <laughs> What that is heavy, heavy is dude. It? We really should have got a car, dude. All right, so I think, like, with all this, we're at, like, 40-ish, almost 50 bucks. We got a little bit more stuff to do. I think, I mean, it, it should be pretty good so far. One thing I definitely think I would regret if I did not pick up. I mean, there's horse flies at the beach. There's freaking skeeters everywhere. So we're going to pick up. How much deep do we want? 25 deep? That's 30 deep. 40 deep. Yeah, should we get some of these, too? Like, make it, like, real homey. Put, like, three around the tent. <laughs> Just spend all of our money on these. Like, 10 of them. <laughs> 25 deep. What the heck does... 25% deep. What the man. heck is a deep? Right next to that stuff, dude. The famous $1 headlamp. So I'm gonna pick, uh... You take a thing out? Yeah, I got you. See she works. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we're gonna have light. Ah, it's kind of pricey. This is, like, this is the bait that we're gonna need, though. So I guess that's worth... Dang, man, six bucks. All right, so we're hovering around, like, 60-ish dollars right now. We have, like, $40 to spend. I want to get a rod and reel. I mean, this is kind of like a... $30 option. It has some stuff in like a little thing right there. <sighs> That's the thing though. Like I want to get hooks. I want to get sinkers. I want to, you know, I want to get the right stuff. But this actually comes with line too. So that, I don't, I don't know. I kind of debated on like the idea of just getting like a line and sinker and like hooks and stuff and just swimming out and dropping the baits or something like that. But how much are you really gonna do that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I think I'm just gonna get. I mean, there's a lot of these kind of like right things up. like this. So we're gonna, we're just gonna look around a little bit. If you were to pick one of these, dude. I'd probably go with the blue one, make that two for blue. I know, I, I kind of like the orange one. Which one do you think is just like less likely to explode? Neither one of them. Pretty much, we're getting a two ounce sinker, which I'm gonna need. I have these hooks, I can make some kind of rig out of this. Like, top bottom. Right behind you, all right? Oh, Thank sorry you. about that. Woman driver. That is gonna put us like at 90 something ish. Honestly, I think this is pretty much almost it. I just need, I definitely need like one of those gallons of water so I don't like die. And definitely probably I need something like some kind of oil or butter or something to put in that pan so we can cook whatever we hopefully catch with this. I Dude, that orange line's kind of throwing me off. We're gonna see what we can do. 60 cents cannot beat that price. All right, I think we're good, dude. So we got all this freaking crap. Hopefully we can survive the night. This is actually gonna be pretty interesting, man. So these matches didn't have a price on them, but. Oh. Let's see if we're within our budget here. 91 $8 under. Woo, all right, let's go survive, dude. 
All right, y'all, so basically here is what is going on. It is now a year later. Pretty much last year, I kind of filmed this video. If you didn't notice, like my hair was not like completely wacky. Literally last summer, I bought all this stuff and this was like the video was supposed to happen last summer. But two times I tried to film this video. Well, the first time it actually like completely stormed and the second time it was so windy, the tent was flying away and I don't even know how to like make the tent. So that is going to be interesting. So we are tasked with a difficult challenge, man. Yet again, today we are out here. We are going to try to survive the night 24 hours or whatever with all this stuff that we got from Walmart. I'm gonna try to catch fish out of this water. We're gonna try to cook it up. You guys should have seen last time we tried to do it. Kelsey was trying to help me and the, 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 that was a windy time. We got extremely freaking frustrated. So today, I mean, it's pretty nice conditions. We are out here with my boy, Zach. What's up? My tummy's already rumbling, so Chef First Day better show up. Oh my gosh, Zach's gonna be helping me set this tent up. I, of course, he has never set a tent up as well, right? I, I mean, how many tents have you set up in your life? You know, actually, before we came out here today, I watched a video and uh, the people made it look super easy. So we're just gonna try to set this thing up real quick. That's gonna be the first task. So yeah, basically Zach's gonna help me with a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna end up staying the night and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But first of all, first thing of the day, we're gonna try to do this. Yo, I am so excited right now. Look at that freaking tent, dude. Dude, four people. Oh my God, it actually is pretty big. And we even have electrical, What? what is this? Oh, it just kind of has like a, a little slit. Oh yeah, you can put like a charger in here and then have like wire come out because there's like a little bag. Four persons had officially set up. This is the home hopefully for the night. I don't know if you guys see there's actually like there's a decent amount of people out on this beach right now. Some people are fishing over there too. How do we uh, I feel like, oh, let's just see how big this thing actually is. Oh yeah. I might get a little sand in here. So let's see. Ooh. Yeah, dude. 100%, this could fit. I mean, I don't know about four people. Too comfortably. I mean, we could have all of our stack of meat right here that I fish out of the ocean. Uh, obviously. So like the one skate you catch. <laughs> Chef First State's gonna have a little fire going out. Right down here, we can have like a little little stick going out there with some mallows. Not the most privacy, but I think uh, this did come with like a thing to put over there in case it rains, but I don't, I don't, I don't have that. So as I said, it has been a year since like this first was gonna be filmed. So let me show you guys kind of supplies that we got going on here. I pretty much still have everything that we did have at the beginning. We have our, uh, oh, there's an extra steak. We have our oil. We don't have like the giant old thing of oil this time, but this, I mean, that's fine enough. We have a nice little cast iron that hopefully we're gonna be cooking something up. I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff. We'll talk about that in a little bit. There's a bunch of stuff kind of swimming around the water right now, which hopefully we can catch something. We have our, uh, Remember when I bought these? They were like waterproof matches or something. They were I like I thought they were like waterproof, windproof. These are like the survival matches. Like these things should be good for like I feel like these should last forever. So they they are kind of old, and I did use them a little bit when I did an ice fishing video. I'll link that down in the description below. It is a little bit windy, but it feels nice coming through these like little air vents. I mean, we got. Wait, do we need more privacy or not? Hold on. <laughs> let me uh, let me lock it up. I'm not even gonna lie, man. This actually kind of. Like this makes me want to camp, dude. Yeah, we got the matches. Um, this, hopefully we can make a fire. I don't know, we're gonna have to try to find some wood or something. And down here, this is, like, see, this is the concern. I bought these fish bites over a year ago. I have used them a little bit. Uh, to freak focus. I've used them a little bit, but as you guys can see, they don't look like normal fish bites. Like, they're a little uh, old looking, so I don't know if that's gonna work or not. We do have a knife too, dang it. I think I left a knife in the car. We've got pretty much everything we can need. We got cooking stuff. We got fire stuff. We need to find some firewood. And I did. I didn't buy this at Walmart, but um, cast iron gets hot. Where's the gallon of water? I don't know where the heck. I probably drank it back a year ago. So we got this today. We got a little thing of water. So we got most of the supplies. As I said, I mean, it's been a year. Hopefully, if we do another challenge like this, we can just knock it out. It's kind of cool, man. Like it's like revenge of the 24-hour overnight Walmart fishing challenge. I tried to film a million times today we're gonna knock this thing out and this is gonna be freaking sick i mean it's actually it's getting kind of toasty here man yeah it is getting a little hot yeah the tide should be coming in right now so we actually have that walmart combo that we got let's open that dude up let's try to rig something up here and try to catch something we'll talk about it. there's there, as i said there's a lot of stuff uh kind of swimming around here yeah this is freaking hot dude <laughs> and it's definitely sandy but i mean it's the beach man it's the beach <laughs> Those are my neighbors. Whew. All right, y'all. So next to this beautiful tent, we have this $29.70 shout out to Delaware No Sales Tax Fishing Rod. I do not remember what's in here. We're going to take a look at this, but I do remember that um, this is orange line, so that is going to be kind of interesting. And this is also a lot shorter than anything I'd normally 
We could probably use this for the fire. Yeah, it's probably a lot shorter than anything I'd normally throw off the beach as well. And I don't have my sand spikes, so we're gonna have to resort to holding this. But I'm hoping if the bites like it hopefully should be, then, oh geez, then I will uh, get a fish pretty quick. So let's take a look at actually what's in this rigged and ready tsunami surf pier fishing con. Oh, this is a tsunami. Actually owned, okay, how does this trusty Walmart knife? Hopefully that lighting's good. Let's take a look here. 13 piece loaded tackle box included. Holy freaking crap. Dude, look at this freaking spoon. <laughs> like that looks like they took an actual spoon and just cut like the end off. That's giant. So that's like probably not gonna... Like if we were at the actual beach, sometimes there's like Spanish mackerel and bluefish running around. I don't know if I mentioned it or not. This is the bay that we're at. So uh, don't know. Maybe, maybe. You never know, man. Salt water, you never know. We also have swim bait in here i guess in this this is a tsunami this is like one of their swim shads it's got like some foil stuff in it, it actually looks pretty good but again i don't know uh i mean striper could be running around here you never know man we got a jig head we have what is this two ounce weight we have a little curly tail like a little chartreuse we also have some wire leader um hooks wait what actually is this right here let's open this up here it's like a little rig that already came pre-made i don't know if there's any hooks on it are they? If you use those hooks, you use uh, that weight that's in there. You make like a little top and bottom rig, it looks like. So that's pretty much everything that came with the rod and reel. Let's see what this thing actually, this is a TRSRNR 50 SP 702M, seven foot medium action, 12, 20 pound mono, lower three fourths to two ounces. And again, this is like orange line on it. I'm gonna take this off. This always triggers people when I don't take this stuff off. Oh dude. Oh no, this feels so cheap. Hello? The dra oh, hold on. Let's hear what that drag sounds like. That's not bad. If this gets real tugged, I guess we'll see what happens. Let's thread this guy up here and I'll show you guys kind of what we're gonna be using here. All right, y'all, so hear me out. I got hooks at Walmart, but over this, like I have no freaking clue where they went, but basically I was gonna make a little rig like this. Like I'm thinking this is probably gonna be one of our best bets of actually getting food like i mean realistically we could try to go after you know bigger stuff in here but i think our best bet there are so many smaller species running around not like super small and hopefully they're like bigger than small small if that makes any sense but between spot kingfish croaker perch bluefish blowfish which i would love to catch a cook all right so this is the rig we got you guys have seen this before see this line is so weird it's orange what i got at walmart though was small hooks i was just gonna make like a top and bottom rig this is essentially that just with like little floats so we're gonna put the sinker on the bottom and basically this is just gonna be floating there like that the little fish bites are gonna be bopping around hopefully something i mean this should be the time of year the tides coming in i mean kingfish would be ideal this time of the year it's just you know it's just a bunch of stuff all right so we got the sinker on i keep leaving everything in this freaking oh, got the fish bites also i didn't this isn't part of the challenge but i brought this stuff too this is magic bait cut bait natural i don't know that's just for emergency purposes. So old crusty fish bites should do the job though. If you guys are not familiar with these, I've used them a lot in other videos. Basically, it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like kind of like a strip of gum and there's like gauze in the middle. Scent gets released right when this touches the water. Blood worms are like one of the best baits to use around this time of the year. These are blood worm flavor or scent. Oh, dude, these are like tough. Oh boy. So I don't know if these things like expire or not, but these are like tough. Guess we'll see what happens. The second one right here. All right, and we are ready pretty much. I mean, a little bit of, look man, these aren't the same hooks, whatever. This is the same exact bait though. Oh, hello? I don't know what's good with this reel, man. I, it, it'll be good, it'll be fine. All right, y'all, so we are rigged up here. The orange is officially ready to go. Got the fish bites. Again, these are stale, so if this works, I guess this is like a stale fish bite experiment. I don't know if that is, like, do, do they even get stale? Dude, these holes, I don't know if you guys see this or not. There's actually like, I think they're called ghost crabs, and they like scurry around and dig these little holes and stuff. It's pretty cool. You can see like their little trails right here. Here's another one. I don't know if you're like allowed technically to eat them. I'm not saying that I would eat them, but you know, in a survival scenario, what the heck is this? What the heck? Bro, is there like a freaking tree branch? It's got a plastic bag on it. We're gonna save this bag. All right, we're gonna clean that tree and bag up. But basically, um, yeah, we're gonna put this thing here to the test. I really don't know. Like, I don't know, I haven't saltwater fished in the bay for a while. For all I know, this thing, as a cast right here, it could completely explode. Um, this water actually feels pretty nice though. We're gonna wait out here a little bit. 
Man, that did not go too far. I don't know, we'll see, man. This feels very interesting. Let me get out here a little further. Oh boy, all right, it drops down right there. So this kind of fishing, basically what we're doing right here. Wow, this water feels so nice. I'm about to go in for a swim, man. Ow, 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 freaking ow, dude. Yo, I literally, ow. I was out here for like two seconds. I swear I just got stung by a freaking ow. Ah, that burns, dude. Freaking jellyfish, man. So we're just gonna, this is kind of like a bait and wait. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite parts about coming to this beach too. There's freaking, wait till you guys see this, man. This is like one of those beaches where a lot of people walk their puppies. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They're always swimming. All right, let's, I'm gonna recast this. That was not it, man. Bait is still on. I just gotta get this out further, man. There we go, that is way further out. All right, just tighten this up just enough. Come on, man, there's gotta be something. I've even, I mean, I've caught stingrays, skates. I've caught sharks on bloodworms. Like around this time of the year too, there's some big old sharks roaming around. So really when you're throwing this bait, it can, you know, it, you really could get anything. Hopefully, just hopefully something, man. <laughs> oh, I just felt a bite. That was a bite. 100%, right? Come on. See, this is a tough part when it comes to saltwater fishing. I mean, it's a big ocean. This is a big bay. These fish could really be anywhere. And the thing is, like, they don't always stay in the same spot. So they could be running around. Really, when you're doing fishing like this and beach fishing, you kind of want to find uh, little pockets out there. From my experience, that's kind of like the way to do this. So we're gonna let this cast kind of sit out there for a little bit. If we don't get, you know, any action at all. We're gonna walk down to the right a couple yards, take another cast. Just kind of, you know, try to figure out where these fish are. I mean, if they don't want these bloodworms, we could probably dig up some sand fleas or something like that. I don't know, 100% though, like I got freaking stung by a jellyfish. Wait, do I have a fish on there? No. Whew. Especially with the tide, like, it was low tide not too long ago when the tide's kind of like this. It can be tough fishing from the beach, especially at beaches like this, because it's kind of like a gradual decline out there. As I said, there are some holes, and in those holes, that's kind of where the fish will hide out and chill out. But it's not just like a big drop off, you know, right offshore. Getting bit. That was a bite. That was a bite. That was a bite. Come back for it. Do I have it? Do I have it? Do I have it? Oh, I got something. I got something. Let's go, dude. Okay, please do not come off. This drag is super weird. I think I got something. Like, please. Please, 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 please. That feels definitely bigger than just the weight. Come here, boy. Oh, I got something. This is a fun part, too, because this is the ocean, man. This could literally be anything. Oh my gosh, what do we got? What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Come here, boy. Woo! Let's go, all right. Dude, got a fish, dude. Let me see, what exactly is this here? That is, that's a croaker. Oh my gosh. Oh my, dude, we freaking, oh, chill. Okay, that's getting all tangled. All right, buddy, chill. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not. 
you do it real quick, but put it right up to the microphone. These croakers they actually like make a croaking sound. Whew, all right, y'all, there we go. Beautiful little dude right there. I'm trying not to get spiked. I don't know if you can see it too good or not, but this is an Atlantic croaker. This is like one of the best eating fish really that you can catch. A lot of people say they taste so freaking good. So this is like sick. Hopefully there's like a whole school of them out there. Little dude chomped the blood worm. I don't know if you can hear him croaking right there or not. These things are so cool looking, dude. They have to be eight inches. This dude is eight and a half right here. Yeah, man, this is of legal size. Look how pretty them colors are, though. Sheesh, all right. So that is, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty sick. We got some food. It actually worked. Uh, the reel kind of was weird. All right, so we have dispatched this dude right here. All right, so basically, I don't know if you can see this too well or not, but here are, like, the two fillets. Pretty much, I'm gonna leave the skin side on. And we're just gonna try to save as much meat as possible. I mean, once it's cooked, it should just like fall right off of everything. If there's any bones, those should be easily picked out. This other stuff we're gonna keep, um, especially like this stuff right here, this belly meat. This would be good, especially maybe even shark bait. Just like for other stuff too. We're gonna keep all this, especially the head. Bro, I literally just almost lost that filet in the freaking water. Leave it to me to do something like that. Zach has actually been like scouring the beach. A lot of people actually have bonfires here and just like, I don't know, there's like wooden paths. So there's like some random pieces of wood and stuff. Dude, it's a lot of wood, man. Yeah, I did more work than you. Like, we got, we got like a mixture too. We got like thick boys, we got skinny things. We got like, yeah, and we have this dude right here. <laughs> That's gonna be the that's gonna be the one to start the actual fire. What do you mean? It's gonna be this bird's nest. What the heck? You found a freaking bird's nest? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It was just lying there. It's just on the ground. <laughs> this might be the toughest part is actually starting the fire. If you guys know, I'm not like never been a Boy Scout. I just never been like a fire guy. Watched a lot of survival shows and like a lot of stuff on YouTube, and I definitely you know want to get more into that stuff. So I think today you know this will be a test. Yeah, where the matches. It shouldn't be much deeper than that. Don't bring just a bag of matches. You need the freaking striking thing. There's probably other ways to do it. You guys are probably roasting me in the comments right now. I do happen to have a fire starter, which is even kind of cooler actually in my car. So I only brought this. I need like the striker thing. So went to the car, grabbed this little dude. I haven't really ever. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Before this gets too hot, we got our little thing of oil right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Fresh fish for dinner. I mean, look at the, the sun is setting. I always like coming to the beach when the sun is setting, man. I think it will always look so cool. We got the tent in the background. With this top, I'm hopefully gonna be able to see. I mean, there's not too many clouds, I don't think. Hopefully we're gonna be able to see the stars and all that. All right, it's getting hot. We're starting to sizzle here. We got the ocean in the background. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna be good? It better be. I'm starving. <laughs> I think this is definitely enough for two uh, <laughs> two men, two dudes, one fire, one croaker. We were kind of joking about it, but I'm like low key a little bit serious. You guys see that thing floating all the way out there? That's like a little floating dock. If this video gets 10,000 thumbs up. We will do a 24 hour overnight catch a cook challenge on that little floating dock. It's probably like, well, like eight feet by eight feet or something, but I don't know if you guys see that. It is out in the middle of the water. That'd be so funny, dude. Oh yeah, Gordon Ramsay, where are you at? Two thirds of the way we want skin side down, flip it, do a little one of these. We're gonna let that cook for a little bit longer. I uh, did not, I, I don't know why. I, I, guess, I guess maybe I didn't have the budget uh, for seasoning. So no slap your mama today, we're just, vibing out with the uh, fiery face. Oh boy, my stick is breaking. Okay, we're just gonna, one of those right there. So as you can see, uh, Chef First Day has outdone himself yet again. We have some, uh, we uh, we got some fish. Are we kumbaya eyeing it? I don't actually have any plates or forks, but you know, the budget calls for what the budget. <laughs> we're just gonna wait for this thing to like kind of it's, it's like on fire right now, but we're gonna wait a little bit. Enjoy our beautiful flame over there. The smoke is definitely not in my eyes. All right, y'all, so this is a survival technique right here. Rod in the one hand, 
just make sure you, you know, stocked up on meats. Oh my gosh, they have a freaking four-wheeler. I don't know how those people got that four-wheeler on this deserted island that we're surviving. Yeah, it's weird. Like, all these people are surviving on the same island we're surviving. All right. Here is, uh... Watch, if I get bit, I'm gonna freaking suck up. It's still kind of hot. I literally feel like Bear Grylls. Ow, that's hot. I feel like Bear Grylls right now. So what you gotta do, man, pick off the bones. You see that right there? These croaker and all these smaller species are loaded with uh, a bunch of bones and a bunch of pin bones and stuff. You just kinda wanna try to work your way around that. Wow, that is hot. Ooh. Look at a nice little chunk of meat right there. All I gotta say, man, I don't know without Slap Your Mama just how uh, you know tasty this stuff is gonna be. Or any other season. It's just survival, I guess. <laughs> so 24 hours. <laughs> I gotta admit, that actually tastes pretty good. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. Like, uh, it could use some stuff on it, but- It could use like, you know, salt, pepper. I did uh, have uh, a little uh, grain of sand um, in my teeth right there, but <laughs> For the most part, man? No. Oh, there's some bones. Hopefully. Out of all the things that you fed me so far, this is actually the best thing. Zach's been there, I mean, we did like a dogfish catch and cook back in the day. Uh, I was there for skate. Oh yeah, Zach was there for the skate catch and cook. I think Croker's like, it's one of the best like saltwater fish that's easily obtainable, especially around this area. I'm living like Larry. They're leaving me. There's a couple other people that said out here on the beach, but this is the setup. So we got some of my gear. We have some stuff here in the backpack and then over here. Got the tent. We moved it back here a little bit more. Kind of got a little bit more protection, I feel like, sort of maybe. Hopefully these people aren't too loud at night. I'm actually just gonna go in there right now, man. I don't really wanna be chilling out here. There's a lot of little gnats and flies and stuff. This is crazy. I never slept in a tent by myself. And I've only slept in a tent like very few times in my life. So we're gonna leave that there. Leave that there right now. We got the water, so that's good. Okay. All right. And that is that. We're gonna have some sand in here. That's okay, just make sure no bugs get in. Yeah, man, look, we got some neighbors out there. Hopefully they're not too, too loud. But basically, we're just gonna chill in here for a little bit. Wind feels pretty good coming in from the sides. I don't really have a pillow, but I'm probably gonna like construct one out of the sand. Whew, yeah, man, we're just gonna be chilling out here. Do some stuff on the phone, answer some emails, some Instagram stuff. Yeah, man, I'm so freaking tired. I mean, I woke up at like 4 a.m. this morning to try and film something. We'll probably knock pretty darn quick, but uh, yeah, man, this is pretty freaking cool, dude. All right, y'all, good morning. It is a toasty one out here today. As you guys can see, last night I went and grabbed two hoodies. It was like the middle of the night. I actually used the headlamp to guide my path, but I got this hoodie because it was freaking chilly. We actually were wearing some pants too, and I put some socks on. It was like, not gonna lie, it got like kind of chilly-ish. I did not think, I don't know. Ooh, it is a freaking beautiful day out here today. Now, I, that sequence at the beginning, me coming out of the tent, I, that was like just for the video. I woke up at like 2 a.m., like 4 a.m., 5 30 what happened to you my guy but uh yeah pretty much i kept trying to go back to sleep i'm not really a morning person so i ended up waking up at 6 30. so yeah before we get out of here today i'm gonna try to do a little bit more fishing if i don't catch anything i probably won't put it in this video but yeah this is really like one of the first overnight videos i've really done in a while i think this is the first i've ever officially done by myself that was actually like, it was relaxing man we got some if you can see that we got some like dew on this dude but yeah we're starting off like smallish here there's not really any predators out on the beach, I mean, as you guys can see, a joke about we're being on an island, but there's like obviously houses, there's other people on the beach right now. I'm telling you guys, just wait, man, wait till we evolve. Like, I think I want to do some stuff like this in the mountains where there's like bears around. I don't think I'm exactly ready for that yet. But definitely let me know in the comments below, like, where you guys want to see me do some overnight stuff, maybe creeks, rivers, freaking mountains. But yeah, I'm gonna take this thing apart real quick. We're gonna do some fishing. If I catch anything, it's gonna be inserted right here. If you guys did enjoy this video today, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you do enjoy my videos, but if you're not already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. Shout out again to Zach and Jerry for last year helping me pick some stuff out at Walmart. I'll leave their links in the description. Yeah, definitely shout out to Zach. Make sure you check his Twitch and all that stuff out because he's the one that really helped me figure this whole thing out. But yeah, overall, I really did have a lot of fun making this video. I want to do a lot more stuff like this and I definitely want to do a lot more saltwater fishing. So let me know in the comments below what what else like kind of like this you guys would like to see we caught the fish we cooked the fish we camped overnight and that uh, yeah, that was fun man so again as always thank you guys so much for all the support it really does me the freaking world to me one more time let's take a little pan 
On the beach right there, you hear the seagulls, you hear the waves. Yeah, man, again, thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.